Hello again, I'm just going to make a quick addendum to the video I made just to show an example in practice of some of the things you can do. Um, so let's say I want to compare um, the pitching speed of Boo and Peach, which is something I've done before. So you just open your game as usual. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so game is running. I have hooked Dolphin Memory Engine and I have opened nmpitcher.bmw in the Dolphin Memory Engine. I could have used another controller, but I didn't feel like it. So when you throw, you can uh, pause the game, see what's changing. You can use the scan to see what's changing as well, if you feel like it. Um, but let's say you can see this. This is the example. So 44 total frames on her pitch, and it's on 41 if I advance the frame, you will see a tick down. So let me throw another one just as an example. So I throw and 44 and it's there. So let's now swap to Boo and see how it varies. And you could do it much more rigorously than pausing for a simple frame or two. This is just for the sake of an example. So you advance frame and you see it's also 44 and an error, but whatever. So also 44. So then you can use that to help reach your conclusions. There are others that are named, some are named, some are unnamed, and we don't necessarily know what all of them are. So it's sort of a uh, trial and error thing. For example, the 64 here seems to be the, uh, the pitching windup length. And you know, there are lots of things you can use to experiment. You can also sort of uh, block them. I think you should be able to change this to say, you know, 256. Yeah, 256. There are some things the game very actively fights against changing, and there are some that it's okay with, but let's see. Okay, so the animation plays out at the same speed, but the, uh, the duration of the... Um, oh, I guess I've frozen the game somehow by locking it. And you can see here, as an example, that the game is constantly trying to revise this state, so it's sort of fighting against that one. If I uncheck it, then at some point we might see the ball. I don't know, I broke it somehow. I don't really know what I did, but the point is this is an option. Yeah, there we go. Now the ball comes. So it just shows a way you can manipulate it by locking and unlocking. And some will do what it did and fight against it. Um, another thing you can do here with these values is you can um, you can right-click them. And you can click, like say, view as decimal to make some of them readable. Some of them are in hexadecimal, so they're harder to read. But you could, for example, change it to a decimal place. And then you get the numbers you're more used to. You can also... Um, make different sections or folders. Um, so mess around with it however you like. This is just a practical example for you. Thanks, bye.